Hello everyone, this is Emil from iPhonePhotographySchool.com and in this video I'll show you how to add Tilt Shift to your pictures. And to do this I'm going to use this little app called Tilt Shift Gen. You can get it on the App Store. And I'll show you how I use this app to create nice uh, Tilt Shift photos. So first I'm going to load the photo that I've already taken. And I'm going to click on the album icon here. Go to Camera Roll and select this photo. Now, as you can see, this photo isn't really all that nice. There's all this nasty stuff on the table and honestly, it doesn't look that great. But if you look at the bottle and if you look at all the light in the bottle, you could perhaps see that if the background was a little bit nicer, the bottle would look nice, right? And so what you can do here is use Tilt Shift to literally eliminate all the cluster from the background so that only the bottle stands out in this picture. And so to do this, we're going to go to Blur and select Linear Tilt Shift. Here you can see uh, there are three different types of tilt shift you can use. You have the circle, this ellipse, and the square. And I'm going to go ahead and select the square. Okay, now I have the lines over here and what I can do is adjust the position of the tilt shift. And in general, what stays inside these lines is going to be the part of the image that stays in focus. The rest will be blurred out. So what you want to do is make sure that you blur out either the foreground or the background of the image. Because if you do both, honestly, it just no longer looks natural. So what you can do is use two fingers, as I'm doing right now, to adjust the position of the area that is going to stay in focus, which is the part of the image between the lines. And now this is going to take a while because because it's a little bit inconvenient to do this with just two fingers on your iPhone, but just that's just the way things are. Oops, almost got it. So this looks pretty good. Right now you can see that only the bottle is going to stay in focus and everything else will be blurred out by tilt shift. Now if you notice this slider over here, we can use it to adjust the uh, this transition and the higher the number over here, the narrower the transition becomes. And here, I only want to keep the bottle in focus. So I'm going to make the transition as rapid as I can by going all the way to the right side. So that's still shift. Next, I want to make this image black and white. So I'll go to color, saturation, and move it to zero. So now it's all black and white. So this is what the image looks like now. It's already a way better than it used to be, but I think I can make it even better by first increasing the contrast. Because if I do so, um, I'll be able to really emphasize the light that's on the bottle and the reflections that you can see there. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the contrast quite a lot to all the way up to 0.70. That's right. So this is what it looks like now. Pretty cool, right? But I think I can make this image even better if I also increase the brightness a little. Uh, because currently it's kind of dark and that's because we increased the contrast. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the brightness all the way up to 0.65. Didn't quite get it. Here we are. Good, so this is where we are now. I already like this image a lot better than it was at first. And honestly we could stop here. But as the one last thing I want to do is... I want to add vignetting. Now vignetting essentially means that you just make the corners of the image a little darker. So here you have this one little slider. You can play around with it. If you go to max you get something like this. But that obviously doesn't look too natural so I'm gonna go and adjust it again and set it to something like 0.3. That's right. And well, I can get 0.3 but that doesn't really matter. So this is what the image looks like now. And at this point, I'm literally done with save, uh, editing this image. So now what I want to do is just make sure I save the changes. So I'll go to save. And I would normally type the save uh, arrow over here. But before, before we do this, we want to make sure that in the settings, the resolution is set to original. Because by default, this app has some really tiny re uh, resolution. So you don't want to lose all that detail and resolution just because the settings were not set to original. So once, you're, once you've made sure that the resolution is preserved, you can tap the save. 
and now this image will appear in your camera roll. Okay, if you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to check out my blog at iphonephotographyschool.com and there you'll also find this original video along with the photo that I had before and with what I had at the end. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.